Now today in my hand, I have this very, very, very beautiful Caddison 200 meter diver. This one is rose gold PVD coated stainless steel case with a nice curved sapphire crystal. Now it's gonna be a little hard to review this watch underneath my box light because of that curved sapphire crystal. It does have kind of a slight glare to it so you can kind of see everything behind, right? my camera there. I do have macro shots I'm going to add in as I'm going through the review. Now part of the 1111 sale on AliExpress, link down below, this watch normally is about $103, $103.39 to be exact, but as part of that 1111 sale, link down below, it's going to be as low as $84.99, $85 for a PVD rose gold stainless steel solid stainless steel with an automatic nh35 in it sapphire curved crystal or you're going to be hard pressed to find something that's going to be this cheap as part of that big sale i know that big sale happens every single year so don't miss out on that sale you're really going to get pretty good bang for your buck and not just with Caddison. Now specifically, I am looking at this 200 meter, 38 millimeter dive watch. Now let's talk about the specs real quick and I'll tell you why. I'm not really the biggest fan of the specs. Now this is 38 millimeters in diameter, so it is a perfect size watch for most medium size wrist. Anything between 36 and 40, and this is right in the middle. 13 millimeters thick, so it's not overly thick. However, it's also not overly thin. It does have that screw down case back with that diver's mask right in the center. And it does have a slightly curved, a slightly domed sapphire crystal, which adds just a little bit of thickness to it. Not really a big deal. It still slides underneath your cuff just fine. Does have very nice brushing along the side. And I just really love the bezel across the top. Mirror finish throughout. Now let's talk about this lug width. The lug width on this is 18 millimeters. Here is a slight complaint that I have for this watch. And I say that because I was wearing this watch for the first time and my fiance who loves watches, she wears a Cartier Tank or a Garmin Lux watch normally. She looked down at my wrist and asked me if I was wearing a lady's watch. Now it's not because this is a woman's watch. This is a unisex watch. Anybody can wear it. However, it was the ratio of the strap to the case size. And you'll see it on my wrist and you'll understand what I mean. Now someone can wear a 36 millimeter Rolex Datejust with a 20 millimeter strap and it just gives it a little more I don't know, meat to the strap. So it just seems a little larger than what it actually is. Once I realized what she was talking about, I kind of agreed with her. It did look like me. I'm five foot 10, almost 200 pounds with a seven and a quarter inch wrist. And I will put this on the wrist. It did, you know, kind of make me feel like I was wearing a, a watch that was slightly too small. It may be perfect for you, but that's just the only real complaint I have about this watch. Now the bezel is 120 click unidirectional. Very, very nice on the clicks. Love the way they feel. They're extremely solid. And some people don't like that high pitch click, but I actually love it a lot right this is a bezel i've played with quite a bit and everything lines up perfectly with the indices and the markers around the outside inside like i said is the seiko nh35 a that is a workhorse movement that is in a lot of watches it's in watches ranging from 85 dollars like this watch all the way up to four or five hundred dollars in some micro brands it is a workhorse movement it is very well known and is very easy to service i necessarily wouldn't service it however you got at least five to 15 years of solid timekeeping before anything would have to be done those truly are workhorse movements speaking of the movement it does have a date down here at the four slash five o'clock position right in the middle and let's just go through the functions real quick since we're talking about the movement it does have a screw down crown again 200 meters of water resistance pop it out once and the date does change right there the date does change 
really easy. One of the things I don't necessarily like about the NH35, pop it out again, it does have hacking, it is hand winding. We'll go ahead and we're gonna go around and change the date at the midnight. Now, as we sort of round 11 o'clock, let's go all the way around. As we around 11 o'clock, that's when the date starts changing over. So it is not a quick change, it is a slow change. So you can see the seven start moving. And then as we round the midnight, just after it pops over, not really that big a deal. It's just something to know when you're dealing with an NH35. Not a quick change date like something on my Rolex or my Hamilton, but I have seen watches at a price point of about $100 to $150 that still offer quick change dates. It's just a simple thing that I'm not sure why a lot of moments don't do it. But to me, it's just a simple thing. It's not really a big deal. One of the things I do love about this watch is going to be that dial. It is a matte black sandwich dial and the indices are, because it's sandwiched, are all recessed. Now the indices match the markers on the bezel quite nicely and I really love the way they did this. Now the loom on this is quite nice and it's very reminiscent of something like a Panerai submersible or radio mirror. Now the indices just above it around the hour markers are triangular and they're very deeply recessed. In fact, the loom on this, I only have a 60 watt box light here in my studio and that's enough to really soak in enough light to really make this thing shine bright once I turn it off. I'll show you in just a minute. Now the dial is done very beautifully. It's extremely simple. The Caddison underneath the 12, an automatic and 200 meters for the water resistance just above the six. I do like the date there at the four and five o'clock position. It's very reminiscent of something like a Seiko, but the crown being at the three, you know, it's nice to see just a slight difference. Really for, for me, what I love the most is the look of that rose gold with the black, and it does have a matching buckle with a tang. I mean, it's 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 very well done for me. It is, it's very well done. The only thing I wish is that the strap would have been 20 millimeters and that's basically it. That's my only big complaint. Let's go ahead and do a loom shot and then we'll toss it on the wrist. Now let's check out the loom on this watch. It's only been underneath a 60 watt box light. So let's go ahead and flip that off. And you can still see that even under 60 watts, it does have it does have good loom and it shines just nicely. It is in the middle of the day, so the sun is coming through the window. But you can still see that the loom looks great on this watch. Now let's just toss it on the wrist. Okay, and here's the watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. The footprint on this, the lug to lug, is kind of small, so it fits just like that, like a smaller watch. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean by, you know, the strap just seems a little too small for me. Maybe that's because, like for me, my watch strap company, Chase Straps, I deal in mostly 20 millimeter watch straps because that is the most commonly used watch strap. Maybe because I'm so used to that, you know, common watch strap of 20 millimeters, uh, 18 just seems a little small. That could be just my own personal opinion, my own perception. Honestly, the watch wears extremely comfortable. It's extremely light. And I really do love, again, that rose gold. The sapphire, the curved sapphire, doesn't have AR coating as far as I know. I couldn't find anything that says otherwise. And when you look at it in the light, it doesn't have a hue showing that it has AR coating. That being said, it does make it hard, again, to film or shoot or photograph in any type of light circumstance. However, in the sunlight, I have no problem with legibility at all and under the water i doubt there's any issue there either now what do you guys think about this watch do you love it do you hate it remember to check out the link down below as part of that 11 11 sale now again this watch as part of that sale is only 84.99 with all the discount codes so make sure you guys are buying it accordingly and even if you don't get it on sale 104 dollars is still an awfully good price for this watch. It, it, you'd be hard pressed to find a watch that's this good a deal outside of some place like AliExpress. 
So if you guys have other watches that you'd like me to review or compare this to, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop my next videos. Until next time.